let us understand about action potential so before we move into study about this first let us understand the structure so this one is the structure of a part of neuron and this whole part is known as axon right axon so we all know that the axon has a membrane that is known as axolemma right axolemma and inside the fluid is or the cytoplasm of axon is known as axoplasm and this fluid this fluid is also known as icf so inside the axon icf and uh, in outside it is ecf what is this icf that is intracellular intracellular fluid intracellular fluid whereas ecf means extra cellular extra cellular fluid okay so uh, this icf inside the icf proteins are present inside the icf proteins are present so these proteins are negatively charged also it contain sodium plus ions as well as k plus ions okay sodium and k plus ions are present inside this as well as outside also okay now uh, in this uh, axon we can find two channel one is uh, this one is this one we can name it as leak channel first one we can say it as leak channel that is lc means leak channel leak channel okay then we can find the voltage gate channel so this is vgc vgc means voltage gate channel voltage gate channel okay so now <clears throat> so this this is an overall view for studying about the action potential so let us move on to that so first one is first phase for action potential is resting membrane resting membrane resting membrane potential resting membrane potential uh, or we can say that r m p r m p okay so in this phase there is no signal so we can say signal is absent signal is absent in this phase okay there is no signal so this phase is waiting for the signal this phase is waiting for signal waiting for signal okay now uh, let us redraw the structure axon okay now the charge outside during the resting membrane potential that means if there is no signal is present if there is no signal is present outside charge will be positive outside charge will be positive inside charge will be negative okay inside charge will be negative how so we can say so the whole charge inside this will be minus 70 millivolt minus 70 millivolt okay minus 70 millivolt so this you need to understand that outside it will be positive charge inside it will be negative charge why why that i'm saying uh, during this phase if there is no signal what happens sodium plus and k plus ion potassium pump ion potassium pump get activated it get activated okay so here the sodium so this one is the sodium potassium sodium potassium pump get activated sodium potassium pump get activated at that time what happens so at this time through this 3 na plus 3 na plus 3 na plus will be given out 3 na plus will be given out through the sodium potassium pump also into the cell into the axoplasm 2 k plus will be that is 2 potassium ion will be entered so here we can write due when the sodium potassium pump get activated uh, or uh, we can say it throws 
it throws how many sodium ions three sodium ions will be throws out okay now 2k plus will be in okay in 2k plus so here when uh, the protein i already told you the charge of proteins are negative as so we compare the charge outside we know that 3 na plus is going out so when we compare this 3 na plus and 2k plus the inward uh, inside inside it is 2k plus and outside is 3 na plus that means more na plus ions are present outside here the proteins charge protein charge is negative so when we compare these two the outside will be more positive and inside will be more negative okay so when the sodium potassium pump get activated it throws out 3 na plus and uh, it uh, intake the 2k plus so other uh, things you need to remember here that uh, the membrane the membrane that is which membrane the axo lemma the membrane is more permeable for k plus that means when the sodium potassium pump is get activated what happens here is that it throws out the 3 na plus that is 3 uh, sodium will be given out and 2 k plus will be in so here the membrane axo lemma is more permeable for k plus and it impermeable for sodium so what happens here only the outward uh, our output of na plus is occurring uh, and only the k plus is getting inside of the axo axon okay so this thing you need to remember that is was first one it throws the na plus and take uh, to k plus inside and the membrane that is the axo lemma that uh, that is a uh, more permeable for k plus and impermeable for the sodium plus okay and also it is uh, impermeable for not only for sodium post, um, sodium plus ions but also for proteins so these proteins cannot escape through this membrane so the proteins cannot escape through this protein it is inhibited also the na plus cannot get inside to the Uh, axon okay so through the na plus k plus pump only when the na plus that sodium potassium pump get activated only it will moves out from inside to the outside okay now don't forget about the charge that is minus 70 millivolt the next second phase is second phase is depolarization what it is depolarization depolarization it is depolarization now in this signal is present signal is present okay signal is present and uh, this signal is known to be threshold this signal is known to be threshold signal threshold signal okay and this signal charge will be minus 55 to uh, minus 60 millivolt the charge of this signal will be minus 55 to minus 60 millivolt now let us draw the axon now i told you through the sodium when the sodium potassium pump get activated the outside will be positive inside will be negative now what happens is that at the, this up to this is for uh, resting membrane okay now which gate get opened 
Now the sodium voltage gate. This one is sodium voltage gate. Sodium voltage gate get opened. What happens at that time? At that time, Na plus get inside of the axon. Okay. So there will be an influx. Influx of Na plus. There will be an influx. What is influx? That is movement into the movement more movement more movement of na plus ions ions into axoplasm okay so that is the influx of sodium okay when that is from ecf to icf there will be a influx of sodium and the charge what happens here so more number of na plus will be present inside right so here the charge become negative charge become negative as we compare to the inside so that is not to be depolarization that is not to be depolarization so during depolarization don't forget during depolarization inside it will be positive outside it will be negative but when we compare it to the resting potential membrane the outside will be positive inside will be negative okay now the third phase let us discuss about the third phase so third phase will be repolarization 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 means let us draw the figure so this is the structure of axon and uh, which end all we discuss now first phase during first phase it will be positive then it will be negative then in the next phase when the voltage gate channel uh, opens the outside will be negative inside will be positive now what happens here is that which gate is opening that is potassium potassium voltage gate opens potassium voltage gate opens at that time what happens that is more k plus more k plus will be move from icf to the ecf understood that is efflux of efflux of more k plus outside more k plus outside okay and this one is this process is slow and long duration long duration and the charge will be minus 70 milli volt so at that time what happens here the charge become positive and here the charge become negative okay so don't forget during resting membrane potential the charge is minus 70 millivolt and no signal no signal and outside it is positive inside it is negative at that time that is how because of the sodium potassium pump because of the sodium potassium pump get activated at that time what happens 3na plus will be throws out throws out from aicf to ecf right then what happens 2k plus from ecf to icf to ecf from ecf to icf okay then it is not permeable for these are the two points you re you need to remember not permeable for 
na plus and uh, what proteins but it is permeable for permeable permeable for k plus don't forget all this okay then the next phase were after rmp that is depolarization depolarization charges plus 34 millivolt so inside charge will be positive outside charge will be negative because when the sodium voltage gate is opens there will be an influx of influx of na plus okay influx of na plus so that's why inside positive outside will be negative and then during repolarization repolarization means again outside become negative positive inside become negative and the charge also become minus 70 millivolt and uh, there is a efflux of efflux of k plus why because the k plus voltage gate channel get opens okay so it was it is a slow and a long duration process so at that time what happens if k plus voltage gate channel opens for long period long period it leads to what leads to hyperpolarization hyperpolarization okay hyperpolarization and that means inside charge will become more negative more negative okay more negative and the charge will be minus 90 millivolt